What's going on everybody? We're going for a little ride over to the boat. Got my ditch bag. Had some food. And uh gonna be going out to the uh Stewart Inlet sandbar with my son and the dog. We're gonna have a good time. Yep. So stay tuned and ride with us. They're leaving me behind. All <laughs> right. You want to come, honey? Yeah, I want to. Okay, come on. <laughs> I got things to do. Have All fun. right, guys. <laughs> we'll see you at the sandbar. See if we can get a cart. <laughs> the cart's got trash on it. All right, we got our bags. Just gotta lock the truck. And off we go. Let's do it. You gotta fix this guy. Sometimes we lose the power, and I think it's because it's shorting out right there. So I'm gonna rig this a little bit to prevent the water from getting in it. How's it going, Benicio? Turn on today. Already got head on. The head's on? Yep. Fresh water? Yep. Cabin lights. So we're going to turn everything on. Cabin lights, the bilge pump. We're not going to need navigation or cockpit lights or spreader lights. We can do the wash down pump, the bait well, uh, fresh water, electronics, the horn. This one doesn't work. Trim tabs. Um, electric hatch in cases of emergency, we got to lift it. Fish bucks, wipers in case it rains, and that's what we'll need. And then down there, we're good. So what are you doing, Benicio? I'm filling up the water. Why are you filling up the water, man? So for the toilet and the yeah, you don't want to run out of water, huh? Yeah, it's almost full. There you go, dude. You're good. That's fast. This one's always a little harder to get to. And this oil is good. So we got a bad battery on one of our engines. The um, starboard engine didn't want to turn on. It sounded like a, like a dead battery uh, when the um, when you hear the solenoid, the starter solenoid go. 
so I had to put the switch on to both and this way it would um, be able to start that engine so I gotta look at these these batteries I know I replaced the house battery uh, less than six months ago I didn't look at the, the, the engine batteries so those are next to be replaced so all right so before we leave we gotta actually turn on the generator so we can keep the cabin nice and cool so let's go ahead and do that now I'm gonna hit the preheat button for a little bit you can see the amp meter go up a little bit so here's a you can see it went back down so I'm gonna hit it again and now we're gonna hit start while I keep the heat preheat on and I usually leave the preheat on until like five seconds or so we have a green light here we'll turn out the shore power you're gonna see that shut off gonna flip the safety switch on here so we don't turn accidentally turn on the uh, generator and the shore power on at the same time and boom we got power so now we got to disconnect the uh, the shore power cord close up the little hatch here Now we just gotta take off the last line. This is the last line I always take off because it keeps me in the spot. And if I get too far away from the dock, like if the wind's blowing me this way, I just get a little burst of um, engine and uh, it'll squeeze me right back onto the uh, onto the dock. So this is always the last one to come off and the first one to come off. Wow, it is hot. All right, we're loose. All we gotta do is just go. Just You ever find somebody being mean on the, on the water? People are generally nice on the water, right?
So this is the uh, Stewart Sandbar. This is where we're gonna be going. We're gonna anchor up towards the end of that island there. And uh, hopefully there aren't that many boats there.
All right, guys. Um, that concludes the show for today. I appreciate you guys joining us for a day at the Sandbar. And until next time, don't forget, give us a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell down below and subscribe. Both safe and have fun. You had a good time today? Hmm? You had a good time? Hmm? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Did you have a good time?